basically I have a 3D printer. It has uh, two extrusion heads and it has an AMS. It's a very, very capable printer and it uh, lets me design and create everything I would want to create. I got my injury in around 2019, 2020. I spent a very long time in rehab and re in the hospital for a good year. I don't remember much from that time. After all the therapies or not, I came back to trying to live with a significant disability of no use of my, well, limited use of my right side. And one thing I really interested in is using a computer because I'm a nerd. I really like computers. Computers are interesting. Just because things are designed for the able-bodied, they're designed with that in mind, doesn't mean that those tasks couldn't be designed with you, you in mind, whatever that is, whether you're paraplegic or missing an arm, things like that. Do you remember the first thing you made with it? The first assisted uh, tool? So the first assistive tool, yes, I still have it. It is a nail clippers. I use it as having to ask others to assist me in cutting my nails. And that independence piece is important. And like it was, uh, uh, it wasn't that I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it without this specific thing. And getting that specific thing was great because it increased my independence and it didn't have me asking, hey, can you do this? It was able to do it 100% on my own, which was empowering. These things are card holders. And I have actually someone requested some of these. Their son, I believe, has cerebral palsy. He's unable to hide his cards from his friends when they're playing. So he wants something like this, where you can design to have the cards so you can see and hide them from his friends and be able, so he can play cards too, despite his, you know, cerebral palsy. I have more, um, more, uh, or, uh, more desire to work on things than I have things to work on. So I'm looking to, uh, you know, reach out to people. I'm looking for people to reach out to me and I will work with you.